Hello friends, this video on microbes in human welfare part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the dough making in case of various other food items. Now as I discussed before also that the dough which is prepared for the bakery items like cakes or breads, the role of microbe in those kind of dough is little different from the dough which is prepared for other food items like idli or dosa. So let us see what happens here. So here the microbe which is involved mainly is lactic acid bacteria. So what is lactic acid bacteria? Now just before some time we were talking about the curdling of milk and there we saw the role of lactobacillus. So lactobacillus is a type of lactic acid bacteria. So these are those group of bacteria which undergo fermentation and convert sugars into sugar that is lactose into lactic acid and that is why all these bacteria are termed as lactic acid bacteria which is often written as LAB. Now there is it is not just lactobacillus which falls under uh, lacto lactic acid bacteria there are many other bacteria which falls under this group. Now these same kind of bacteria which help in the process of curdling, they also help in fermenting the idli or dosa batter. That is why you would have seen that once the batter is prepared, that is what, what do we generally have? I mean what are the ingredients of the batter? Mostly it is rice and uh, a pulse named urat. So these two things are grinded and mixed and then the batter is left undisturbed for quite some time. So when the batter is left, it is left for the fermentation process to take place. Now, these lactic acid bacteria, so from where do, where do they come? So they are naturally present in the urad seeds and that is why this urad pulse is used for the preparation of idli or dosa. So since they are naturally present there, as soon as you mix rice with these urad seeds which are both grinded and mixed together, so what happens, the lactic acid bacteria which is present there, they start the process of fermentation. So now, as a result of fermentation, what will be produced? The result is lactic acid will be definitely formed because they are all lactic acid bacteria, but along with lactic acid, carbon dioxide is also formed. So due to the formation of this carbon dioxide, the fluffiness and the puffiness comes in and that is how the idli batter gets fermented. Now you would have observed that if the batter is fermented for too long, so if you keep the batter for fermenting for quite some time, maybe for two days or so, what happens? The batter turns too sour. Now why the taste turns sour? That happens due to the formation of lactic acid. Now if you remember in the process of curdling also we saw that due to the formation of lactic acid the taste of curd is sour. So if the fermentation happens for a longer period of time what happens is that the formation of lactic acid I mean too much lactic acid gets formed because the longer it is left for fermentation the larger amount of lactic acid will be formed now the more the amount of lactic acid the more sour the taste will be but in this case we do not want the dough to be very much sour what we want is the dough should get fermented that is it should get that uh, uh, raising effect the fluffiness and for that what do we need we primarily need carbon dioxide so even if we leave it for fermentation for some time not for too much of time so that should be fine so the fermentation has to happen for a limited period of time. Now another thing to be noted here is in this case we do not need any starter. For example in case of the process, I mean while preparing curd, we needed starter, we needed a spoon of curd to be mixed with the milk. Only then curd formation will take place. But in this case we do not need any starter. Now these examples, it is this kind of dough making happens not only just in Italy or dosa. Uh, we, you would have also observed that there are many other food items which when prepared they are left to itself for the needed dough is kept aside for some time for rising. For example, if you would have uh, ever had the 
डिश छोले भटूरे सो द वे भटूरा इज प्रिपेयर दैट दैट ऑल्सो फॉलोज द सेम प्रोसेस और इफ यू हैव एवर हैड नान सो इन नान ऑल्सो द नीडेड डो इज लेफ्ट फॉर सम टाइम फॉर द राइजिंग इफेक्ट एंड फॉर दिस राइजिंग द बैक्टीरिया विच आर इन्वॉल्व वॉट डू दे डू दे अंडर गो द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेंटेशन एज अ रिजल्ट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गिविंग द फ्लफी अपियरेंस एंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बबल्स सो बेसिकली दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डो मेकिंग थैंक यू प्लीज विजिट एग्जाम फ्यूर डॉट कॉम फॉर एन ईजी फोर स्टेप लर्निंग प्रोसेस एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट वॉच वीडियो लेसन्स ask questions refer notes and take an online test thank you once again